my first CEO was, was, was Al Cruz. And, uh, the, and one thing when I said he was a little bit visionary was, is about certain things like the ball was coming and he wanted to do just not a event, he wanted to do the event, right? So, uh, you know, as only Al will do. So we ended up uh, on the Queen Mary and the, uh, the guest honor was a gentleman named Pete Conrad, who was the third man to walk on the moon. And, uh, and so uh, with that said, uh, I ended up as the captain in charge of the ceremony. And so when Mr. Conrad got to the Queen Mary that night, I, uh, I went and found him. He was a retired Navy captain. Uh, and I said to him, sir, um, just so you know, while you're up there talking, you know, there's going to be Marines at parade rest and all the rest. I just want to kind of make a hint to you that just keep that in mind that the Marines will be standing up there and so forth and kind of let them know to please keep the comments so much short. So he said, you know, he looked at me and says, I got it, Captain. And, and when it was his time to speak, he simply said he wanted to add a little bit to Marine Corps history. And what he said was, is that when he was a test pilot in 1964 in Texas, that he was, he was, he was flying a plane, plane malfunctioned, it crashed, and the back seat was a Marine Corps captain that died. And that when he landed and walked on the moon, he took that Marine Corps captain's gold wings and he placed them underneath the American flag. And what he wanted to add to Marine Corps history was don't let ever be said that a Marine had not walked on the moon. <laughs> and, and that's all he said, and he stopped. And then later in the evening, he came and found me, and he said, Captain, was that short enough for you? <laughs> and I said, yes. I, I said, yeah, wait. He said, what did you think? I go, well, that was just a wonderful sentiment. He goes, well, it was more than a sentiment. Because what I was really trying to say to you all was what makes it so tremendous about your service is the fact that you're passing on our traditions, everything about us from generation to generation. And those traditions, what makes us so special as Americans. And I hope everyone understood that tonight. So I, I say that in, 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 in closing, because as I kind of joked when I started, as I see the group here, I know how much commitment and time is spent helping our service members, helping our families, helping so many parts of us. And just so really, it is a, a thank you uh, from, from all of us for everything that, that, that you have done uh, you know, for us. And I would be really remiss today if I didn't highlight our two police officers over here. And, and I'm not quite sure you why you're here, but I hope it's not because you have a warrant for me. <laughs> but the, uh, you know, so I swear to God, I've got that, I put my phone now in the cradle. But the, uh, but, but, but I, but, but I will say to you two gentlemen, thanks for being here today. And anything that's said about, you know, who we are, you know, doubly applies for who you are. Because it is amazing challenges that you face today.